Recently, I was checking out the Facebook page for the gym that I go to, Crunch, and I saw this little meme, and I have to share it with you. It's been six months since I joined the gym and no progress. I'm going there in person tomorrow to see what's really going on. (laughs) I had to read that twice and then I just cracked up. I am positive that the gyms would not be open if everyone that had a membership always showed up. They wouldn't have enough square footage. They actually count on us not showing up in order for them to gather all of our money. And then the few people that are diligent and actually show up are the ones that um, fit in the doors. (laughs) I just giggled when I read that. Isn't it true that sometimes we buy a program or we buy a book or we invest in something or we listen to a podcast and then we think, it's not working. What's going on? The truth is it takes work to get things done. It takes showing up. It takes being true to our moment of choice and following through with what we need to do. We need to see it through from the beginning phase when we're gathering information to the planning phase when we're really clarifying what we want to do, how things will look differently when we get there and clarifying the steps that we want to take. And then we need to soar into action. Action is necessary for hope to grow. Even the smallest of steps will bring our hope levels higher and higher because we'll realize, wait a minute, we can do more than we thought we could. Now, you heard me mention just a minute ago about being true to the moment of choice. I got that concept by reading The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And back in episode 77 through 84, I did a deep dive on that book because it's a very uh, precise book that talks about each and every step of leadership that leads towards us um, discovering and then being the person that we always wanted to be. If you're interested in learning more about that, head back and listen to episodes 77 through 84. In episode 84, we talk about being true to your moment of choice. Sometimes we make a choice and then we don't follow through. It just stays right there. We think, yes, I need to do that. I want to do that. You feel that feeling inside of you saying, this is a direction I need to head. And then life gets in the way. Maybe we just let that feeling pass without writing it down and becoming accountable. And before you know it, weeks have gone by, months have gone by, and nothing has gotten done. I'm going to encourage you while you listen to this podcast to allow yourself to want to follow through, to want to be there, to really have that desire I say allow yourself because sometimes we are our own worst enemy and we stifle uh, our thoughts before they even move into action. We say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or oh, we begin to make basically excuses. So I want us to put aside the excuses and just assume that action is our next step. I have three different ways that we need to show up in order to get things done. The first one has to do with your actions, showing up to do what you say you're going to do. The second is being in the present moment, showing up in your moments each and every day. And the third is showing up for yourself. I think about this a lot when I wake up early now to go work out. I say, I'm going to do what I'm going to say I'm going to do. When I get there, I'm going to be in the present moment and think about it, get the most out of it. I woke up early, for goodness sake, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to look at it as a gift that I'm giving to myself. Some of you guys have made commitments like I have to live healthy and to exercise and to eat more healthy and all of these type of things. And I want to tell you that being true to the moment of choice, the magic happens when you actually do it. Whether you have a goal of eating healthy and exercising or whether you have a goal of waking up early, whatever it is, I want you to take a minute to consider the things that you've told yourself that, oh, I want to do that. What are the first couple of things that pop into your head? Whatever they are, 
right now. If you can, write it down. Remember it. Keep it in your mind and begin to find ways to take action. Doing what we say we're going to do. Doing what's right is not always easy. If that was true, then we'd have nobody in the whole wide world doing things wrong. But the temptation is strong to do the wrong thing. And when we fall into it, the only thing we can do is really just make excuses because we know that we didn't really do what's right. Well, if we take that into the realm of showing up, In order to find success in whatever avenue that we're trying to, we need to be honest with ourselves, not lie to ourselves and say, if I say I'm going to do something, I am going to do it. I'm going to do what I'm going to say I'm going to do when I say I'm going to do it. That means if you've written down a schedule on your planner, Choose to stay as close as you can to that schedule because you wrote down those things for a reason. It's because you want to get them done. So when you're tempted to begin to say, you know what, my stress is just becoming overwhelming. I'm going to take a break. And then 45 minutes has gone by either in an online game or scrolling or doing things that aren't wrong. They're just not right in that moment. Hold yourself accountable this week and see what happens. If you say, whoa, I promised myself I am going to call a friend, make five phone calls, finish this project, whatever it might be, try telling yourself whole new phrases and whole new words that are going to allow yourself to say, oh, wait a minute, I am going to do what I say I'm going to do. I'm going to have that character. I'm going to have that conviction. I'm going to model that to my family. And the second way that we're going to talk about of showing up to make sure you get things done is showing up to be present in the moment. Whatever moment that you're in, be 100% present in that moment and make that moment the best moment of your life. Did you know that I learned from Hal Elrod from um, the Achieve Your Goals podcast and also his book, A Miracle Morning? He talks a lot about making every moment the best moment of your life. And whether you are driving in the car with your family, whether you're at home, whether you're eating dinner, whoever you're hanging out with, take a minute to stop, look around and tell yourself this is the best moment of my life. This moment, I'm going to live my fullest. I'm going to be here so fully and completely that I'm going to watch, um, you know, for instance, with your child, they're talking to you about um, something that's so important to them. Look at how their hair falls when they talk, how they move their eyes, uh, the things that make them laugh. Find out about their humor and just just bask in it and enjoy it and enjoy every moment that they're speaking to you. Comment back and help them say more. And in that moment, you're making that moment the best moment of your life. You're not rushing it by half listening and being like, oh, they've told this story before, thinking about what you need to do later on for your activities, your dinner, your responsibilities. No, you're being present in that moment very moment. It's a gift. Each moment that we have is a gift. The only moment that we know for sure that we have is the moment that we're living in right now. So in order to show up, we have to be in the moment that we're in. Many times I'll take a big deep breath in to get all that oxygen up into my brain, a mindful minute, and then I'll remember I'm making a difference in this moment. And then I breathe out and then I am ready. That's so important in the counseling practice, because let me tell you, a lot of things are flown our way. A lot of unexpected events can happen at a turn of uh, every turn of the hallway. You don't know exactly what you're going to walk into. The school depends on you to deal with some of the most 
um, challenging situations and you are meant to be calm and poised and level-headed and ready for it. Practicing mindfulness, mindful breaths of just basically what that is, is you're breathing in the oxygen and breathing out, but you're also thinking a very deliberate statement about the way that you want to live the next few moments of your life. You've heard me practice with you. Breathing in, I do my best. Breathing out, I let go of the rest. Well, you can also say breathing in, I sit here and now. And breathing out, I make this the best moment of my life. I've just been practicing that so often. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I tell myself this right here is going to be the best moment of my life. Am I sitting next to my, my loved one watching television? Am I listening to my husband talk about his day? Am I sitting in traffic? Is it, whether it's a pleasant activity, whether it's something you looked forward to or something that surprises you, it's your mindset that decides what that moment will be and if you are showing up. Showing up isn't just doing the thing that you're doing, but it's doing that thing with a full and present mind. So show up to each and every moment, wherever you're at is the most important thing. And if you're doing something that's not important, shake yourself out of it and go be in the moment that you need to be in the moment that's going to make an impact. Sometimes that is a moment that you will treasure for the rest of your life. And The third way that we need to show up is we need to show up for ourself. We touched on this a little bit earlier in this podcast, self-help. Show up for yourself. Sometimes there's a voice that has been nagging you of something that you need to do, something you need to follow through with that's uh, even maybe challenging. You might be a person that needs to make a move that you've been avoiding. Maybe you need to walk away from a relationship that because it's convenient, because it's easy, because it's familiar, you stayed in a situation that has harmed your heart, harmed your soul, completely halted your ability to move forward. And you've heard that voice to say, move on, move forward. Move to your next destination and there's a blessing waiting for you and you've held back. Be real with yourself enough to say, I'm going to show up for myself and I'm going to take steps forward because I need to. Someone else, I know you're sitting here and you're saying, I have everything that I need in my life and I find myself paralyzed by fear, paralyzed by doubt, paralyzed by just Inertia, sitting still too long and not doing what I need to do. Show up for you. There might not be anyone else in your life that completely understands you uh, the way that you'd like to. But you can't sit around and wait for someone to understand or validate what you need to do. When you have a feeling in your heart of something you need to do for yourself or for others, do it. And that's the way we reap the results because we say, you know, I'm going to show up for me more than anything else. I'm not going to sell myself short. That circles back to our own care of ourself. Have you been making your doctor's appointments? Have you been making appointments for everyone else, but not for yourself? Now I realize the dentist is no fun. So many times that's the first thing we put off, but why? Why do we choose to put our own health and our own um, caring on the back burner or even just push it aside while we care for everybody else so fully? So the third thing I want to encourage you to do for show up, for showing up is choose to show up for yourself. Find out the things that bring you the most happiness and joy and sprinkle them in your day. If you're choosing to have a night of chill, then, you know, do that. Don't fill it up with other things you need to do. My mind is 
very, very, uh, very quick to move to my list of things I need to do and what I'm not getting done. And if you're like me, you need to quiet that voice at times. Because if not, you really aren't showing up for anybody because your mind is just swirling with thoughts. Part of having a focused mindset is deciding that in spite of everything going on in this world, in spite of all the places we need to be and the uh, events that are coming up into our future, we choose to be in the moment in a focused manner. Because everything that you are doing It requires your full attention. Find new ways to show up. I'm so glad that I showed up with you here today. Thank you for being such a valuable member of the Focused Mindset by being a podcast listener. If you would like to get my hope notes, I'm kind of revising the things that I send to the people that are on, uh, that give me their email. And I'm going to call them Hope Notes from Share. And I want you to be a part of that as we move forward. I send out the same things that I always have when I have articles or ideas or uh, promotions or if I want to give you discounts on the things that I'll be selling. Yes, I still give you that. But also, I want to give you some Hope Notes, some messages from me along the way. And if you'd like to be a part of that, check the show notes. There's a link right there to be a part of the Focused Mindset community. Also, if you go over to thefocusedmindset.com, right up in the corner, you can see where you can sign up for my hope notes. If you're on the cell phone, it doesn't show up. You actually have to scroll.